Hey guys, Jason here. We are up here at the Toyota dealer. I'm actually waiting for an oil change tire rotation on the 4Runner. Nice truck. Now, if we wander over this way, you can see we got a whole row of tundras over here. It's a whole lineup of tundras. But buried deep in here, as I was just walking through here, I saw that we actually have a TRD Pro, a Tundra TRD Pro that we're going to take a quick peek at. And uh, you can see it sitting there. You can see that it stands out from the other ones. Again, all Tundras, it's nice to see them starting to line up and hit showroom floors and be more popular. But you can see that which one is the Pro, and it jumps right out at you here. It's got the Heritage Grill right here on that Pro. You can see the height difference in it. It's got a little bit of a lift on it. Uh, you're getting those front locker, or I mean, at, uh, you're getting a rear locker. Toyota doesn't offer a front locker, but you get the rear locker. You get this, uh, kind of get this really unique uh, digital camo pattern type design on here uh, that you're getting there. Heritage grill, Raptor lights put in the middle or in the front of this. We're gonna have to go pretty wide because this is tucked in there pretty tight. Get the TRD wheels. Now here you're coming with Falcon Wild Peaks. Okay, these are AT3s, awesome tire, AT3Ws. These are a fantastic tire. Um, I don't know why these Falcon AT3Ws sure look a lot weaker and way less tread than the AT3s that I have on Tina's. I got AT3s on Tina's and uh, on her forerunner and they are a lot more tread and a lot beefier maybe because they're lt but they they look a lot more tire than what this does this is kind of actually kind of disappointing on here comparing the two but i do like that little right there that little forge stamp in there the trd pro logo on here there but they're sharp looking wheels these are a nightmare to clean they're an absolute nightmare uh, to clean these out and have to get in there with a brush on every single one and all these little divots They they straight up suck to clean, but you got that TRD Suspension that TRD pro suspension setup and I believe those are Fox tuned shocks on there, too um, And uh, TRD pro right here like I said, it's pretty tight in here between these two trucks So I don't got a lot of room to maneuver here, but uh, we are price wise $76,000 plus I'm sure there's an ADM on this particular one if I'm not mistaken. Here's your extra options that we have on this. And uh, we'll go look in the inside from the other side over there. But uh, And then what do we got back here? Again, I like this textured on here. That's pretty cool. And the shocks here. Let's see if I get my phone in there so you can see them. Right there, that Fox piggyback reservoir suspension system on here. You're getting a little lift right from the factory. The same wheels coming around the back side. Back here, again, I like the uh, digital camo effect of that. You got it on the back of the bumpers. Uh, I like the backup lights right there. Sweet setup on here. Uh, we got no recovery points on the back of this anywhere other than a hitch, which is fine because the hitch does the job, but it is definitely nice to have one more in here or a way to get around that bar and you don't even have, well, right here, you could maybe come around that bar for a secondary point. Let you kind of see what it looks like underneath. Those shocks are pretty well protected down there, as you can see. Nice setup. Coming around on this side over here, hit bed. Right there, got the track system in here. And as we come around, uh, let's see here. Can we see in the back of this any? Yeah, we can right there. I love the pattern on the seats. Part of that uh, TRD Pro option. Council in the middle, nice. Like I said, well done. I'm not going to get the keys or mess with anything on here. Like I said, I'm not that concerned. Uh, here's the inside. I love the, I like, I really like when they do that red strip on the steering wheel just for a locator. I know it's kind of cheesy and, and pointless, but it, to me it's kind of cool. I like that effect of that. I, I think it looks really neat. Nice console in there. Again, I love the seats, the design of the seats on here. And this, this vehicle is not priced for too ridiculously comparatively. Now we are, again, we are going to probably, you are probably going to deal with some, see the TRD Pro in there. I'm trying to keep the reflection down. Let's see if I can do that better here. You can see a TRD Pro right there in the seats. Like I said, nice looking vehicle. Um, I mean, but again, we, we don't got a lot of room here to work with uh, to go around this thing, but TRD Pro right here. So like I said, nice looking truck. Definitely a very nice looking truck, but that $76,000, isn't that ridiculous? Look at the light bar in the front here too, underneath the Heritage Grill. Um, and uh, do we have any tow hooks on the front of this at all? We have... Uh, 
none. We don't have a single recovery point on this vehicle. There is not a single recovery point anywhere on this vehicle other than probably connecting to the to the control arm or something like that with a strap but we do not have a it is a trd pro and there is not a recovery point on it that's kind of mind-blowing actually that is you know i knew that the regular tacomas did or tundras didn't but on a trd pro we do not have a recovery point on this vehicle other than a hitch. That's kind of shocking. I know some aftermarket stuff is out there, so you could do that too. But um, but let's look at the price of that real quick here and do some comparisons. And uh, so this is, we saw is 76, 76 4. And uh, let's just take a quick peek at the rest of this. Hold on. All right, so when you see here, the, the TRD Pro only comes that way, but we have the iForce Max Twin Turbo. So let's take a look here, price-wise, and see that's that TRD Pro, which, like I said, is, you know, kind of a very special type edition. And uh, iForce Max, here's an iForce Max right here. What's this? Uh, we have a, uh, this is a Platinum. How much is this Platinum? Okay, basically, same kind of cost, much more city-fied designed more for for you know being kept in the garage and used on the highway uh doing truck stuff still and capable but it's much more simplified and not designed for the off-road use that you're going to get with the trd pro you're getting a heck of a lot more suspension better tires a little more lift you're getting so much more in that package a heritage grill there's a lot coming out of that trd pro uh for two grand more than that iforce max one right there that platinum what else we got down here none of these are iforces we're just looking for comparisons here's a couple iforces down here what do we got here this is probably a this is a capstone Whew. all right so let's see where we're at here okay we're at 82 on a capstone fancy interior okay this is again this is as city fight as a truck could it possibly be is it nice? Yes, but this is 100% a city truck that lives in a garage, and it, it the only thing it hauls is uh, beach chairs to the beach and to the tailgate party at the stadium. Okay, that's what it's designed for. Chrome wheels. This is this is pure meant to be luxury. It's like a Cadillac with a pickup bed on it, where that TRD Pro designed to be used off road. Here's another one. What is this one here? We got. Uh, this is a 1794 edition. What is our price on this? Coming in at about 73000 right there. And uh, like I said, you, uh, we'll try and get a view in there. There we go. So far, interior-wise, that TRD Pro wins for me, hands down. The grill wins for me, hands down. The wheels on the TRD Pro win for me, hands down. Everything about the TRD Pro, if I was buying a Tundra, wins for me. Absolute, straight up, hands down. Here's one more iForce. And uh, what is this here? Uh, I don't even know what this is. We will see. Uh, this is only 65000 Sorry, the mirror's in the way for me to show it. There we go. And uh, you can kind of see what we got on here. This is a limited. Going to be a little more simple in design, but still very, very nice. And as crazy as it sounds, I would take this limited for sixty-five over any one of the Platinums or the Capstones myself personally, or that 17, I'd take this one all day long. The only one I'd take over this would be the, uh, uh, would be the uh, TRD Pro, but for that extra, for, for eight grand more, whew, that's kind of tricky, but that TRD Pro is a sweet truck. Like I said, they got a lot of Tundras here. Tundras are starting to show up. Um, you know, lots of good options in them. I don't know a ton about them. This is not my forte. And uh, like I said, I'm not real happy with Toyota and how they are with all their new stuff now. And uh, the direction they've gone. They're not my favorite company. But this TRD Pro that we just seen right here, that is a pretty sweet deal. And it's a pretty decent price when you compare it to all the rest of these on here. Is it a good price? No, it's a stupid price. I mean, anytime you're paying 70 grand for a truck, uh, it's, it's crazy. For the price of this... For the price of any one of these we've shown you, I could literally buy a, a Ford F-250 Super Duty Tremor model with the rear lockers, put 37s on it, include it in that price and everything, and have a super crazy off-road capable truck. Um, or I could get even an F-150 Tremor, which will blow the doors off of any of these things. So uh, those prices are very, very high. But they are a very cool truck. Here's a Sport right here, Ford TRD SR5 Sport. Uh, with nothing, you know, now now we're talking. The prices here, 
that those should be over there. Okay, that's where we should be. Now, this is not the turbo, or I mean, uh, uh, hybrid. This is the iForce turbo. But uh, but like I said, there's some big differences when you start looking at some of these things. So anyway, just a little quick walk around on it. Take a quick peek. Uh, they're starting to fill up. You can see we got some forerunners starting to load up over here, too. It's getting that time of year where Toyota's starting to put some, some inventory out. That's that new Tacoma right there. Forerunners right there. Another Tundra SR5 right here. So like I said, it's getting that time of year. Definitely worth going and checking out some of the things you can find at the dealer. Thanks for watching.